Hey you guys, thanks for coming back again if you are subscribed. If you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it. That will notify you when we drop our new video. We want to look at the physics, practical for NECO 2022 and the optics now in this video. So let's go to our question as usual. Now let's look at this diagram very, very, very well. In this diagram, you should have seen uh, a mirror, a plate mirror and we have some other material so as this is going to be arranged and discuss this one we go to the question you are provided with plain mirrors drawing board plain sheets optical pins and other necessary materials using the diagram above as guide to perform the experiment so this is the diagram we're using as guide fix the drawing paper on the drawing board that means you're going to use a thumbtack to fix that then place the mirror vertically with its longer side resting on the drawing paper so we have the mirror here so we are placing it in such a way that the longer side here will rest on the paper like this then thereafter um, draw a straight line AB to represent the what? The reflecting surface of the mirror this is the line a b on the diagram so i'm going to show you the diagram and to analyze it very well then draw a straight line st through a to meet a b at right angle so we know this is point a here right here so let's check it out we are drawing a b and at the same time st to this I mean true A. So and we skip a step here. Let's go through that. So for number three, we are, so, we are told to draw the normal NQ to meet AB at the midpoint. So that means we're going to divide that AB into two by drawing a normal at the end at the midpoint. So at the same time, let's move on. We have talked about drawing a straight line ST through A to meet AB at right angle. Then we are also going to measure a distance AC. And distance AC is equal to X, and distance AC starts from the end of this, I mean the angle, to this downside. Okay, I'll show you that. So, and that distance AC will be equal to X, and that will be equal to 1.5. Then, next is draw a line CQ to represent an incident ray. Place two optical pins P1 and P2. Okay, P1 and P2 on CQ. So after that, we replace the mirror on AB and then go for the rest of the procedure. So now, let's look at this. Place two other pins, pin 3 and pin 4, to be in a straight line with the images of P1 and P2. So yeah, then remove the mirror, draw a line through P3 and P4 to AB. That means it's going to meet at the normal, so at the, uh, normal angle. Then measure and record theta 1 and theta 2. I'm going to show you that in the diagram. So then evaluate x is greater than power minus 1 and tan theta 2. Then thereafter, repeat the procedure for x equals 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, and 6 cm. Then thereafter, we tabulate our reading. Then plot a graph of tan theta 2 on vertical axis and x inverse of horizontal axis. Then determine the slope s of the graph. Then lastly, we state the precaution to obtain uh, sorry, state the precaution to obtain accurate results. So let's go through the diagram very well. Looking at this, this is the mirror AB, and we are drawing our normal N to meet AB at the midpoint. Then thereafter, we measure distance A, A AC rather, and that AC will be equal to X as stated in the question. So then, from this point we draw a line to form the incident ray and don't forget the distance a is 1.5 at first so then we draw a line to form the incident ray to meet at n so after meeting at n we fix two pins straight on that line and then try to locate the two pins by viewing through the side so when we view through the side we place two other pins to maintain the position of straight line that is this straight line within with the images formed on the play mirror and then we remove the pin remove the mirror and then join this back then by doing that we have to measure the angle here of which we created ourselves and another angle here okay we measure these two angles 
Yeah, after measuring the two angles, those are the angles we're going to use. So we evaluate the distance x here inverse, then tan of this second angle. Then we go about to the rest of the procedure. So that is how we're going to use it. Let us go and perform the experiment. So, all right, let us start by fixing the drawing paper on the drawing board. So by doing that, I'll use a thumb tack. So I have to fix at this end. Yeah. So then thereafter, I fix this as well. Okay. Then we fix the paper this way. Now we can start. So according to the procedure, we are told to what? Fix the plain paper on the drawing board of which we have done. Place the mirror vertically with its longer side resting on the surface of the mirror. Okay. Then we make a drawing of that. So I'm placing the mirror this way so that I can draw the outline. Oh, this is actually wrong. Because of the edge of the mirror, it seems to be rough somehow. So I have to use this point. So then, so let's draw the outline. So having drawn this, then I have to show that this is a mirror by showing the, the coated side. So this is the coated side of the mirror. And this is the polished side or the reflective side. Yeah. So and we have to measure the length of that so that we can easily determine determine the what the midpoint. So I measure from here down here. And I can see that is 9.5. So 9.5 divided by 2, I'm going to have a 4.75. 4.75. So I'm going to pick 4.75 as my normal. 4.5, 4.6, 4 4.7. 4 so let's pick 4.75. So that will be the normal. So let's draw the normal now in a straight line. So that's my normal. So that's the normal. We have drawn that. So that's our normal. So what next? The next thing for us to do is um, label it. So we are told that this place is Q. Yeah, this point is Q. We are told that this place is N. Good. And what else? We are told that this is A and this is B. So we are told to draw a line that will pass through A. So let's draw that line now. Actually, the line should be long a bit. So I've drawn that now. So and this is A. So the next is to draw uh, a distance, as in to pick up a distance that is 1.5. So measuring distance 1.5 here now, I'm going to have this is 1 and this is 1.5. So from that 1.5, I'll measure from the uh, uh, normal down here. Can you see that? So let's take a look at that. So, can you see this? So this is 1.5 here. So and that's C. So don't forget that distance AC is X. That distance AC is equal to X. So I've drawn that. So then I'll fix two pins here. Then carry out the experiment. So let's fix two pins on that line. So I'll fix one here, standing still, and I'll fix another one here, standing still. 
so then i will replace my mirror so actually there should be a mirror stand if i'm not i don't have a mirror stand here but i'm going to stand it using this so by doing this i already have the mirror stand here so then i will locate where the image is formed by looking through this side now so let's look through this side and find the image so when i look through i can see that the image is formed and i'm going to place the pin exactly on the straight line to the image so if i'm to measure the straight line it's going to be here you can actually do that should be placed on a straight line to it so I have this then the next is I put for the second as well so I can have yeah so having done this the next for me to do is to draw another line is to draw another line so drawing another line that will pass through p this is p1 now and this is p2 so then i will draw a line that goes towards this so that line will pass through p3 and p4 now and also the normal So this is it. Then I have P I have P4 and I have P3. Don't forget the direction of the line should be given, should be shown. So this comes out this way and this goes in. So let me just show you that after removing everything. So I think the experiment is done, but I will have to measure. Let me take my measurement, then I show you the paper. So I'll take the measurement of this angle. So placing my 90 on this okay then I have uh, 90 to 80 I read this way so that is 10 20 30 40 50 60 I'm getting 70 here so theta 1 is equal to 70 degree so then don't forget x equals 1.5 centimeter then i'll measure theta 2 i was told to measure theta 2 as well so i'm placing my 90 here so then i have 10 20 30 40 50 60 i have uh, okay i also have 70 theta 2 also equals to what 70 degrees since angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so now let's remove the pin and then i show you what i have done so now take a look at it take a look at this now so i've taken my measurement for this of which i am still going to put in the table so now this is the mirror this is the line we have drawn this is p1 p2 this is p3 and p4 and this is the normal so i've taken the readings of this angle theta 2 and theta 1 so i can i have to label it so this is theta 2 theta 1 rather and this is theta 2 so i have done that now so then i'll record this later so let's go for the second value of x This is a new plane sheet now we have put the second value of x so then i we are the pins i fix them up okay okay now that's it then I go again. 
measuring the outline and don't forget the length of the mirror is still um, 9.5 so and half of it will definitely be 4.75 so and that's what we'll be using all through the experiment so now let's draw so I've done that then I will have to show the coated side so that's the coated side so the next thing is the next thing is let's draw a normal at that point so uh, that is 4.75 4.5 and I draw the number from there. So this is Q and this is N. Good. So then I draw a line again just like we used to do. And don't forget to label B and A. So I draw a line through A. So now that's it. So this is line T S and this is A. So going to see now, I have to measure the length of, um, after that, we measure the length 2.5. So the next is 2.5. So I'll draw 2.5 from here now. 2.5, the length. So this is 2 and this is 2.5. So from that 2.5, I take it down to the normal. Yeah, then I fix my pin. This is pin one, and this is pin two. So, what next? I replace my mirror. Okay, let us look at them. So thereafter, I'll fix my pin. So, first pin is here. Okay. Second pin is here. So I can see from here. So then, I remove and draw the lines again. So drawing the lines, I have yeah. I'm cutting this, then I measure my angle. This is theta one, and this is theta two. So actually, you can measure this angle to be your theta. So let's measure that and see what happens. So so I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Sorry, not up to 70. Not up to 70, so this gives me um, okay. Let's measure from here. Let's measure this first. Okay, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62.5. I can have this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. So 62.5. So theta 1 equals 62.5 degree. So then we we'll take theta 2 as well. So let's take theta 2 measurements. So then I have uh, so 
we pick it up from here and then we have um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, and that is also 62.5. So, it's two. It's also 62.5 degree. 62.5 degree. So, and that is also that. Don't forget X will be equal to 2.5 centimeter. So, we need to rush out the rest. And that is 3.5, 4.5 and 6. Point zero. So let's go straight to that. We are going to put all these in the table and attach it to our answer booklet at the end of the experiment. So let's move on to this. Yep. Okay. After that, I draw my normal. <laughs> B and this is A. So let's draw the line through A now. So then the next is to measure 3.5 3.5 so don't forget this is C so I'll measure 3.5 in height so 3.5 this is 3.5 then I'll take it down so I return the mirror Then fix the pin. So let's look at them. The first pin. second pin so good so make sure they are on the straight line so after that is done we do again measure the line so this is theta 2 and this is theta 1 so let's measure what we have left and don't forget to always label your pin 1 and pin 2 and pin 4 and pin 3 so don't forget to label that so let's measure our angle again so here i'm having 10 20 30 40 50 and i'm having 55 degree so theta one equals 55 degree yeah 55 degree so what is theta 2 we actually need to measure we can say they are both the same angles but we just have to measure in case there is any exceptional case so the same thing i also have 55 degree so that's 55 degree don't forget x is what um 3.5 so that's done so then let's go to the next one fix them all right so let's draw the outline and put that side and here after I locate the midpoint
so that's the midpoint and I draw N, Q this is P and this is K so then I draw my line again so let's measure 4.5 of the length 4.5 so measuring 4.5 now I'm going to have a yeah this is 4.5 so then I join it to this so let's face the two pins let's face the two let's face the two pins so now yeah so look at the pin pin one oh sorry that's pin three then pin four yeah so that is the position of the two pins so then you remove draw a line through them So after drawing the line, you measure your theta 2 and theta 1. So let's measure that. Don't forget that x is what? 4.5 centimeters. So theta 1 equals and theta 2 equals. So they are both equal. So let's just. So that is it. Then uh, we measure our theta 2, theta 1 and 2, just like what we have been doing. So, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and this is 45, 46, 46.5, so I have 46.5 degree, so also I'm going to have 46.5 degree here. So let's go for the last one, the last but not the least. So and that is, we are going to 60, fix the paper first so then so, so this is the coated side of the mirror so then we measure the midpoint, the midpoint of the mirror to be 4.75. So and that's the midpoint. So this is Q, this is N, this is A, and this is uh, sorry B, and this is A. So let's draw the line through A. So, drawing that line, let's measure 6 cm in the line. 6. So, this is 6 cm. So, let's, from that 6, let's put it up to like that. So, then, I fix the 2 pin again. So, then, we turn the mirror. Then fix two other pins. No. Okay, here. Yeah. And then here. Yeah. Good. So then we remove that and then join the So having done that, I measure my theta 2 and theta 1. So x equals 6.0 centimeter 
theta 1 equals theta 2 equals. So let's measure theta 1. So I'm having 10, 20, 30. Then this is 40 on dot. So 40 degree, 40 degree. So now that is the experiment. Let us go and make our table and then plot the graph. This is the table where we have a serial number, our x and x inverse theta 1, theta 2 and tan theta 2. So now we have to plot these on vertical axis and these on horizontal axis. So then by doing that we have choose a scale and the scale we choose to use is on tan theta uh, axis, on tan theta 2 axis 2 cm to 0 0.25. On uh, x inverse axis, we are using 2 cm to 0.1 per cm. So that's the unit per cm. So that's what we are using. And this is the graph. This is the graph. So let, let's fix it out now and then plot the graph and see how it looks like. So when we have 0 0.6 on x inverse, 0 0.6, it goes to 2.75. 2.75 2.75 so we've seen this now good so now 0 0.6 to 2.75 so now we have 0 0.4 okay actually i'm supposed to make it 0 0.7 uh, uh, because after approximating so I'm 0 0.7 to 2.75 so it should be here so this is 0 0.7 to 2.75 so after approximating this table to, to, to one decimal place actually so that is 2.75 here so I'm going for 0 0.4 to 1.9 0 0.4 so we have 0 0.4 here to 1.9 so how do we locate 1.9 so all I need to do is to say 1.9 divided by 0 0.025 so that is 76. You know, each box, each small box is going to be 0 0.025. So we divide by we divide 1.9 by that and the answer is 76. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So then I count 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I trace that down to 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.3. And this will be 0 0.4. So now the next one is 0 0.3 after approximating this to 1.4. So 0 0.3 this is it. So to get 1.4 after counting one, then I, after reaching one, then I count six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 0 0.3 to 1.4. Then the next one is 0 0.2 to 1.1 1 .1 actually. So 0 0.2 to 1.1 so this is 0 0.2 then I count 1.1 so 1.1 1 .1 we go with this then two lines so I, I have this also so then the next is the last one that is 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 so then to get 0 0.8, um, that is 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.025. So that is 32. So then I have 1, 10, 20, 30. So then I count two lines. 1, 2. So this is 0 0.8. So then let's look at the best fitted line. So I want to choose the best fitted line of all at least so that the rest can be distributed across it. So after picking that, this is what I picked. So I picked this as the best fitted line. So then I'm going to find the slope of this right away. So I'm picking my slope from the readable point. So I can have um, this. Okay, let me pick it from this point.
down to this point. Okay, so this is change in tan theta 2 by change in x inverse. So now let's determine that the slope s of the graph is equal to change in tan theta 2 over change in x inverse. So as you can see that, so let's find the change and that is um, here I'm going to have a 2.00, 2.00 minus. Here I have a 0 0.0.51. So I have minus 0.51 over the change in x. I'm going to have, sorry, this is 0 0.75 rather, 0 0.75. So then this would be 0 0.51 minus here I have 0 0.1 this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 0 0.17 so I have 0 0.17 so let's subtract this 2 minus 0 0.75 gives 1.25 all over 0 0.51 minus 0 0.17 so that gives 0.34. So by dividing 1.25 by 0.34, I'm having slope equals 3.68. So and then don't forget the value is in what? So units of the slope is centimeter. So now let's take the two proportions to obtain average results and ensure that the mirror stands uh, firmly and I ensure that. Uh, the angle is measured accurately. I ensure that I reach, I am able to fix the pin on a straight line with the image on the mirror. So those are the precautions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you.